All right, guys, if you're a subscriber to my channel, you'll probably already know that I'm trying to make a stained glass lamp at the moment in the style of a honeycomb. Well, I've already completed two sides, but I've cut in all these honeycombs. It's a bit monotonous. So I thought I'd give myself a break and make something else. But I want to stay in the theme of the lamp. I can't make the stand yet because I want to do that once I've got the four sides made. So I thought I'm going to have a try and make a honeybee out of glass and wood. If it ends up okay, I might make a couple more. And if it ends up rubbish, you won't even see this video, so it doesn't matter. If you want to see how it turns out, keep watching. Let's get making. Now there's five main parts that we're interested in. The legs, which I'm going to try and make out of wire. The wings, which I'm going to try and make out of glass to keep in line with the lamp, the stained glass lamp. The head, the thorax, which is the centre section, and the abdomen, which is the bit with the stripes, or spiracles as they're called. I didn't know that till I looked on Google. But anyway, that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and make the head, the thorax, and the abdomen all out of wood and for that I'm going to use two different kinds of wood a yellow wood called Movingi and a dark red brown wood called Iroku and you might remember that when I made this my Union Jack skateboard and if you haven't seen that video you're missing out go and watch it but not just yet hang around and let's see how this bee turns out Let's get making. For the abdomen, I've taken some of this yellow movingi and some of this dark brown, reddish brown iroku and I've glued them all together in alternate pieces and hopefully once the glue's dried, I can then start carving the, uh, the abdomen. So I'll come back when the glue's dried. Well, now all the glue's dried, I'm going to try and shape the abdomen. Now that I've finished making the abdomen, I've filed um, a groove into the top and I'm going to make the thorax out of this piece. So the first thing I've got to do is make this surface the same shape as the groove so I can glue them together. Now that the glue's dry on this, I'm going to draw the centre section thorax onto the top and side of this piece of wood and then I'm going to start carving to get it round about the right size before I start giving it any detail. Now that I've got a rough idea what to cut, I'm going to start shaping it. But I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave something on the front so that I can grip it in the vise and I'll cut that off once, I've, once I'm happy with the shape.
drawings for the B. I take the drawing and put a piece of clear glass on top and then I mark all around the wing leaving a little bit of extra material on so I can grind it away. And then using my cutter I cut as much material off the bottom as I can and I cut just on the outside of the shape of the wing on the top surface. Now because that one's a curve I'm going to turn it over and tap the back of the glass to open the crack up. And as I break it now, I should have a nice curve. That's lovely. Break the material off the bottom. Now I can start grinding. Now that I've got the glass to shape, I take a fine marker pen and draw the veins onto the wing. And using my Dremel again, but this time with a very fine, like a little ball. And what I do is I grind over the lines. And once I've finished making the first one, I make an opposite hand for the other side. I reckon they'll be alright then. Now I've made the four front legs, so I've just got to make the two back legs and I'm going to make them out of this, which is a retainer for the glass on my greenhouse. But I've not got my greenhouse anymore and I always put bits of spur springs and clips into my drawer in case I need them in the future. And now they're going to be turned into bees legs. Well, now that I've got the legs made, which was not easy at all, I'm going to use this piece of wood, which is a Movingi again, uh, the yellow wood, and I'm going to make the head. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw well, roughly the shape on here. Maybe a bit bigger. What I'll do is I'll cut it, 
cut it to about the right size just a bit bigger and then when I'm a bit nearer I'll start filming because this is going to take ages well now that I seem to have the basic shape what I'm going to do is break it off the big piece of wood and put something like a screw into the back of it so that I can hold it better in the vise and then I'm going to start rounding it off side to side top to bottom front to back um, and around the eyes I'm going to try and dig out a little bit of detail and I'll paint them in later let's get on with it well now that I've got the basic shape I've drawn the eyes and I've drawn the jaws and I've got to start removing some material in between the eyes and if I get this bit wrong I'll have to start all over again so let's hope I can do it right <laughs> I'll get away with that now I just have to round it off uh, paint it and add some antenna so now I'm just going to make some antenna out of this paper clip Before I start gluing the bee together and painting the legs, I was having a look at some photographs and on the honeybee, this section seems to be covered with fine yellow hair. So while I've been sanding the yellow wood, I've ended up with a lot of fine yellow sawdust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint glue onto this section, cover it with this sawdust and see if it looks a bit more realistic. the wings on and I'm looking at the head and I think that needs some of the yellow sawdust on it as well so I'm going to give that a go see if I can make it look a little bit a little bit better
There it is. The bee's all finished. And even though I say it myself, not bad for a first attempt. All I have to do now is finish off the sides of the lamp and then I can move on to making the base and the stand. If you want to see how I get on, hopefully I'll have a video out within the next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Catch you next time.